Alright well, guys, so this week we are going to be doing the Arnold Challenge. So I'm going to train like him in his old bodybuilding days and eat like him now. He had four, three to four eggs for breakfast and he had two slices of bacon with oats and honey. So because I am vegetarian, his old bodybuilding is a lot of steak, uh, chicken and bacon. Obviously I can't eat that because I'm vegetarian so I've got vegan bacon, I've got vegan steaks and vegan chicken uh, uh, tenders later as well. So this is his eggs and bacon. Now the bacon is smaller so I've added four instead of two just to make up for the calorie and the size of the breakfast. And then I've got my lovely oats which look <laughs> uh, interesting to say the least and I'm going to put some lovely manuka honey on that as well. So that's his breakfast. So I'm going to go dig into this. Alright guys, so that's breakfast done, oats with honey and the eggs with the bacon, it's all done, all done as well. So I'll put the calories on the screen over here so you guys can see um, and then I'll catch you in a little bit for the pre-workout and then we've got the gym to hit for chest and back so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so just it's been about half an hour since I've eaten. So next, it's pre-workout time. I'm using PhD Charge All-in-One pre-workout for my pre-workout, because Arnold has a pre-workout before he goes to the gym. So I'm gonna take this, and then I'll catch you guys at the gym. We've just finished the chest and back workout. I've had a shower, got changed, ready for my workout later on, which is gonna be legs, calves, forearms, and abs. So we're making his uh, protein shake now. So this is gonna be my post-workout meal. So what he has is almond milk, uh, cherry juice, a banana, and he also puts a whole egg in. Not the inside of the egg, the actual egg, like so the shell and everything. So we're gonna make that, blend it up, and then I'm gonna uh, drink that and see how it goes. I'm not sure how well the uh, eggshell's gonna go in the blender, but I've got a Nutri Ninja, so it should blend quite well. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I've blended it all up. All right guys, so I've just finished blending the protein shake, as you can see. Uh, honestly, didn't smell too good when I had it. Uh, it has, I don't know if you guys can see in the bottom, all the eggshell. Uh, so I'm gonna try it on camera. I honestly think this is gonna taste pretty gross, but we'll see. Oh God, all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous about drinking it. All right.
Actually, it tastes pretty all right. A little bit of bits with the eggshell in, but yeah, it's weird because there's like a crunch to it, sort of like if you had blended raspberries or something with like seeds in, and the seeds haven't exactly blended up. It's all right, it's doable though. <laughs> so, guys, I'm gonna go finish this off, and then I'll catch you guys for meal number two a bit later. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so we're back. This is meal number two. So I've had the breakfast, I've had the pre-workout and the smoothie. So this is meal number two, if you don't count the smoothie as a meal. Um, so what he usually has is a steak, one to two sweet potatoes and veggies with some cashew. So as I keep saying, I'm vegetarian. So I've got vegan steaks now. The size of steaks he would have equals two of these. So I've got two steaks instead of one, but when you weigh them, they equal the same amount. Then I've got two sweet potatoes. I've mashed them up, it was about 264 grams of sweet potato. Then I've got, I love broccoli, so I've got a ton of broccoli, uh, sweet corn as well, a bit of carrot and green beans as well. So this is his meal, it's absolutely huge, and I've still got, oh my, I think three more meals left. Uh, a mass gainer, which I'm making from scratch because I can't actually buy his mass gainer. And then uh, two more meals after that. These are the nuts, so he has around two to three ounces of uh, cashew nuts. So I've got just over 55 grams. So I went in between uh, the two and three ounce to get what he usually has. So I've got that in there. So this is my meal. So I'm gonna go eat it and I'll catch you guys later. Guys, so I'm at the table of the meal. This is what I've got. It actually looks incredibly nice. I'm not gonna lie. Never had the steaks before, so this should be interesting. I love sweet potato, so this is gonna be brilliant. If it was normal potato, I'd be a bit funny about it. Uh, and they've got some really good veggies. Got my nuts on the side over here as well. Yeah, glass of water. Probably gonna need more than one because it's such a huge amount of food. But yeah, let's dig in. That's nice. The steak's really good. Um, never had meat before, like vegetarian from birth, so. This is really interesting, having something that's supposed to be steak and seeing what it tastes like. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna dig in. <laughs> my battery died so I've had to put in a new one so if the camera's a little bit different angle that's why luckily I heard the noise so I stopped eating just in case so let's get back to it All right guys, so I finished the uh, cashew nuts. So that's meal two done. Uh, and I'll catch you guys for the smoothie, uh, which is the masking one that I have to make from scratch later. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right guys, so this is, it says meal number three because it's a masking shape rather than like a smoothie. So he usually uses his own Arnold masking. Now I can find or buy it, but I found a picture of the calories in it, so I made exactly the same calories, same protein, same fats, and the same carbs, so that's all in here. Uh, literally, it's oats and protein in there. In his mask, and yes, like sweet potato and all this other stuff, but obviously, they're all extracts and things like that, so I can't exactly buy with that. So yeah, I've gone with the oats and protein, um, so roughly to accumulate to his, 
I've got 42 grams of protein uh, powder, protein powder, 42 grams of protein powder in here, and then 60 grams of rolled uh, or Scottish fine oats, which comes to just over 350 calories, uh, over f just over 40 grams of protein. I think it was 41 grams of protein in total. The carbs are around 36, 38. So I've gone exactly like his fats was one gram and it's got exactly 1.1 grams of fat in. Um, so I've gone over 0.1, but it's exactly got the same uh, protein, carbs and fats as his uh, mass gainer would have. So let's try it out. To be honest, I say try it out. I've had this before, but uh, added blueberries and stuff and it tastes good. So I'm gonna drink this and after this, as you can see, I'm obviously in my next gym uh, clothes. So I'm gonna hit the gym for the legs, calves, forearms, and abs workout. So I'll catch you guys in the gym. So we're on to meal number five. No, sorry, it's meal number four. Too many meals for me, guys. So meal number four. So with this, we've got 12 ounces of chicken. Obviously, because I'm a vegetarian, I've used vegan chicken tenders, which um, their weight equivalates to six of these, if you guys can see. So we've got six of these. Then I've got my veggies in here as well. And because, as I've said in previous videos, I can't eat rice, I've got noodles instead. And I've got one to two nests of noodles, as it said, one to two cups of rice. So I'm gonna dig into this. Alright guys, so, oh my god, that is meal <laughs> four done, that was insane, um, really really fun, I nearly didn't finish it, uh, yeah so we've got to, we've got one more meal after this and that's meal number five, which is cottage cheese and more cashew nuts, so I'll see you guys in about an hour for that one.
I'll catch you then. Alright guys, so it's meal number five. So I've got some lovely, uh, I don't know if you guys can see to our cottage cheese. Literally cottage cheese and I've got cashew nuts as well. I love cashew nuts as I ate them earlier and I find them really nice. But cottage cheese man, that's, that's going to be hard. And it's plain, there's nothing with it. So yeah, I'm not going to enjoy this meal that much. But it's on the plan so I've got to do it. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so that's the last meal of the Arnold training and eating day. So obviously he Arnold has had so many different meal plans throughout the years. This is the one that I could find. Um and obviously as I said in the last few clips and everything with the food, I have done vegetarian alternatives which maybe higher in calories or low in calories or low in protein etc but honestly the amount of mass of food I've had to eat and it is insane but the workouts that back and chest and then doing the legs calves forearms and abs was insane I burnt so many calories and um, so I'm not surprised to eat so much and he's like this all in all, I think it was a really good day. I really enjoyed uh, the workouts. Honestly, the Arnold workout is something that I'd probably do for myself once a week now, just to push myself to the limit, because it's got so much volume in there. It's worth doing, I think, at least once a week, just if it's just chest and back for that day, or it's the leg workout with calves, forearms and abs just for that day, because it's a really good workout, there's no doubt about it because you're hitting all the muscle groups but in from different angles with different machines and different exercises so 100% worth trying that workout out. Now I have put obviously the exercises on the screen before so feel free to look back, write them down and try them out gym. Uh, but apart from that guys, thank you for watching, I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next week.